All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and today we're gonna to do a leg workout. Specifically, we're gonna do a workout that doesn't involve squats or deadlifts. Now, I love squatting. I always love squatting, but it's a little too hard on my body these days, and I get messages all the time from people saying, you know, their back has issues, or their neck, but, or their, even their elbows from the torque on the bar. So not everybody can squat. So we, even though we all love to squat, not everybody can squat or even do a deadlift, or like a trap bar deadlift, or even a stiff legged deadlift. Again, maybe your back speed up or what have you. But I have good news. You can absolutely build phenomenal legs without squats or deadlifts. Uh, just to give you a very quick story, in 2013, around there, I started having problems with my back. I wouldn't even call it an injury. I would just call it overuse from 30 years, 30 plus years of training to where it doesn't feel comfortable for me either. So I had to abandon the squat as much as I love it, the, free, the barbell free weight squat, I should say, uh, the bar sitting around your back. And um, I, had to, I had to just continue to work my legs in other ways and my legs actually got better. So there is hope. We're gonna hit, a, hit that workout today. I'm gonna show you. So if you can't squat, if you can't deadlift, no fear, let's get to work. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up and train your quads on the leg extension. Now, the reason why I'm doing that first is because our next exercise is going to be more of a leg press or a hack squat or a supported back squat, you'll see. But I prefer to have your legs really warmed up, your knees warmed up, your quads warmed up. I think that second exercise is going to feel a lot better if we do that. So again, we're going to start with leg extensions. We're going to uh, hit probably three or four quick warm up sets here, and then we're going to get to work. All right, so I lied about the warm up. We did our speed warm up. <laughs> The speed warm up is when you do six reps, you make it a plate heavier, you do six. You make it a plate heavier and you do six and you keep doing that until you can barely get six. So it's just sixes all the way up the stack or down the stack until you can barely get six. And you stop, that's your warm up. And it is straight fire. It's also good if you're kind of on a tight schedule. I'm a little bit on a tight schedule today. So working a little faster. Now, once you're done, here's what we're gonna do. You're going to essentially do one, I don't even know what you call it. It's not really a true cluster set, but it kind of is a cluster set. Or you call it a bunch of mini sets. I'm just going to call it one set. So the weight that we left off with, after you rest a little bit, you'll probably be able to do 10 or 12 reps with it, but we're going to do 25. So the way you get to 25 is first of all, all the reps have to be full range of motion. When you can't get full range of motion, you have to stop. I want you to stand up. I want you to shake your legs, shake them out, get back in there, do another three or four. And you keep doing that all the way to 25 reps. Only one set of this. I promise you, if you do more than one set, you're gonna regret it. One set of this is brutal. So, okay, it's been about three minutes. Um, I did this workout 10 days ago, uh, by the way, and it was, it was pretty painful. So, okay, 25 reps. Oh. Oh. Oh, last one. Oh. Ah. Okay, so hopefully you got through the leg extensions and your quad should be on fire. They should be pumped up. Now we get to do the exercise that really takes the place of the squat. Now we have a pendulum squat here. Very difficult arsenal pendulum squat. But I realize most of you don't have that. That's okay. You can use a V squat. You can use a leg press. You can use a hack squat. The bottom line is you just want to use a machine where your back is supported. And so you can just drive with your legs. That keeps your back safe, provided your form is good and controlled. And what you're going to see on this exercise is real good controlled form. Now, we did two sets of five reps, real slow, just to get to our working weight. So I don't want you to go to like say a leg press and just throw seven plates on there and go to work. Just do some low rep sets to get up to your top weight. Now, when I say your top weight, I want it to be something you can do for around 10 to 12. And we're going to do the same thing that we did on leg extension, except you're not going to get out of the machine. You're going to do your reps. Don't go to failure. Don't fall down. Don't let the leg press kill you or the hack squat kill you. Rack the weight when you get tired. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm actually not going to rack the weight here. I'm gonna stand up. I'm just gonna take a breath, breathe a little bit, then I'm gonna get another three or four reps. 
then I'm gonna take a breath, I'm gonna breathe a little bit, and we're gonna get all the way to 25. So you'll see what I'm talking about. If you use a leg press, go ahead and rack it on the leg press. Uh, well, actually, you don't have to. You can keep it locked out and just rest the way I'm doing. This is a very, very challenging set. Uh, so here we go. Uh. Okay, so we did one set there on the pendulum squat. You can use whatever, your hack squat or leg press or whatever. Now, let me explain to you why that is so effective. So let's say you do what we normally do, which is three or four sets. The last two sets have some tough reps in it. Maybe the last four or five reps are tough on the third rep or third set, maybe. The last set, maybe the last five are really tough. So you probably got eight to 10 reps that you have to fight. And realistically, you probably only got two or three reps where you have to really fight hard. Now think about all those hard reps we did on that. So I did something like 10 reps and it got real hard. And then notice how I kept doing one or two, one or two, two, then one. Every one of those reps was really hard. Every time I stopped, if I went back down, I might not have been able to get back up. So there was a minimum of 10 to 12 really hard reps there. Whereas a normal scheme would be two or three really hard and then a few other hard ones. So you actually get more hard, hard reps in a set like that. Now, it's also very advanced. If you're a beginner and you do this, you're not gonna be able to walk for a week. That's guaranteed. I actually made the mistake two weeks ago of doing two sets like that on the pendulum squat. And I couldn't train my legs for a week, that hurt so bad. So I overdid it, I made a mistake. So one set of that is for intermediate to advanced to advanced people doing this. Um, if you're a beginner and you wanna do it, then maybe instead of doing like 25, you wanna do 15. But again, no more than one set like that. So now we're gonna do some more quad work and we're gonna incorporate a little bit of glute work. So we're gonna do some nice slow lunges. This is just gonna be a normal, this is kind of going back to normal work sets. So we're gonna lunge about 25 yards, I think is what we got here on the strip. So we're gonna just do three sets of lunges at about 25 yards apart. At the right. beginning I said, you're probably not able to do stiff legged deadlifts or any kind of deadlift variation for your hamstrings. No fear, leg curls are here. So leg curls to me are a better movement anyway. Um, you hit part of your hamstring, the kind of the lower outer quadrant, the short head of the biceps femoris. But anyways, I think the leg curl just overall is, is the most underrated leg exercise you can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off here. We're going to do two straight sets of 10. And then the last set, we're going to go out in style. We're going to do your 10. Then we're going to do 10 really slow partials out of stretch position. And then we're going to do an ISO hold for... I don't know let's say 20 seconds that should burn like fire so two sets of 10 your third set 10 reps then 10 partials out of the bottom and then 15 second iso hold so time to get the hamstrings finish off in style Seven, eight, nine, all right that was it make sure you do those partials do them nice and slow if you go fast you can hurt yourself so nice slow partials out of the stretch position it just keeps the tension going it keeps driving more blood in there so your hamstring should be demolished now your quads and no squats no deadlifts and that is a very very effective workout so i hope you enjoyed it we appreciate you watching and we appreciate you supporting the channel as well thank you very much and we'll see you next time